Is your Rottweiler puppy being aggressive? Is it growling a lot? Is it barking a lot? Are you concerned that you've accidentally got yourself a, an aggressive rotty puppy? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Rotty Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of the FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Rottweiler and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Rotty companions. So if you are new here, start this amazing journey by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell and all that jazz so that you never miss a future Rottweiler video. So let's dive into today's video and I've just been going through some of my emails and I've had an email from somebody wanting to know more about aggression within puppies because they've got a new rottweiler puppy it's nine weeks old but when it's playing with other dogs and their other dogs it's growling a lot it's barking a lot and they're concerned that they've got an incredibly aggressive rottweiler at such a young age and what that could then turn into and what is it that they should do about it so i thought we'll make a video on this hopefully be able to help the person that's asked the question but then anybody else that's watching can hopefully pick up and learn some tips and tricks along the way as well so this rottweiler puppy I think we need to go all the way back and first of all we need to understand how do dogs communicate how do puppies communicate what is normal communication and stuff that we shouldn't be worried about and what is aggressive behaviors and aggressive levels of communication that we should be worried about now what i'm going to do i've literally just decided but i'm going to do a whole video on this channel dedicated to rottweiler body language and rottweiler communication so that we can be higher level canine leaders that can see what it is that a dog is trying to communicate through their body language and through their vocal inflection so i think that's incredibly important now there's lots of other resources out there you can go away and do research on that but this situation in particular these things are always difficult because i need ideally it'd be best if i could go and see it in person i can watch i can observe and i can let you know exactly what it is that's happening and what it is that the puppy's trying to display now nine times out of ten with these kind of things it's nothing to do with aggression whatsoever puppies in particular and especially all dogs in fact are quite vocal when they play and the more excited they get they can make some crazy noises from really weird gargling noises to heavy panting noises to growling to yapping snapping and none of it be aggressive whatsoever it's just part of the process of them playing now where it gets a little bit complicated is if there is ever an example of actual aggression now from the information i had from this email i want to say that it almost certainly wasn't aggression it's merely a rottweiler puppy being a playful energetic quite confident puppy now the problem is that an independent confident playful puppy like that can then quite quickly devolve if not in a household with the right kind of leadership to then actually start to display some concerning behaviors so if you've got a dog that you have any kind of concern with around aggression whatsoever and in particular a rottweiler i want you to much more focus on your relationship with your puppy so that you are a calm consistent leader that the dog looks to for guidance and direction and you have rules expectations and boundaries that are enforced and consistent 100% of the time the reason that's important to this specific query and question is if at any point you deem any behavior even if it's not necessarily aggressive to be too much you want to be able to slow things down calm the situation down and stop the play from happening you need to be able to come in as a calm consistent leader and be able to say stop enough's enough I want to stop this. I want everybody here to calm down. I am in charge. I am the leader here. And I do not like where this play is going. Or I'm concerned other people aren't comfortable with this situation. So I am making the decision to calm down and relax. Now that removes the debate or not even the debate, but the concern around where is this behavior coming from? nine times out of ten it's not from an aggressive place but we just want to bring that energy level and calm things down amazing awesome we've ticked that box we found the solution to that the one out of ten that maybe that is some form of aggressive behavior 
the solution is the same that as a calm consistent leader we can come in and communicate that that is not acceptable and i'm asking you to stop it and as your calm consistent leader you must stop because i have asked you to now that isn't kind of a quick fix i can do a five minute fun youtube video that is an ongoing effort between you and your dog for you to become a high level canine leader now this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve that and we're going to have over the coming years hundreds of videos to help you achieve that and we also have have our online resources at femreardogtraining.com that is dedicated to helping you achieve that same thing but what i want you to take away from this is two things really first of all it's probably completely normal and if you're unsure then i highly recommend you go in and research in canine communication and body language it's a fascinating subject and can only help you achieve the goal of being a high level canine leader that can communicate better with our dogs so it's well worth going and doing anyway and the second thing I'd like to take away is the importance of a calm, consistent leadership and relationship with your dog, because if it is an aggressive behavior, we can turn it off and communicate that that isn't acceptable and that isn't how we behave. And if it's not, but it is just something that we're not happy with, then equally, I would like you to stop and you're going to stop because I've asked you to. The solution and the management strategy is the same with both outcomes. So I hope that helped. As with all kinds of dog training and canine behavior related queries, there's rarely a quick fix solution, a magical pill that you can take that makes things dead easy. That, like anything in life, to be able to have something as an amazing as a world-class, obedient, perfect Rottweiler companion, that doesn't happen overnight. That comes from ongoing dedication, effort, and consistency on your part so if you can achieve that if you're willing to put that in then you will get there if you want a quick fix solution i promise you it doesn't exist and you're going to find yourself in a sticky situation with a rottweiler displaying lots of negative behaviors so again i want you to understand that what we're trying to achieve here is teaching you those overarching principles and theories and encouraging you to put in that level of effort dedication and commitment that's required now if you're willing to do that i think this channel is absolutely perfect for you to be able to help you on your journey to a perfect rottweiler so if you are new here then please consider subscribing we've got two new rotty videos coming every single week and i can't wait to speak to you on the next episode of the femre rottweiler show